News with your host, Amy Sparopoulos. Our next guests are offering kids an opportunity not only to excel in life, but in the game, on the field, meeting other kids from all over the country, creating lasting friendships, and competing in the sport they love on a local and national level. Welcome this morning, Kim Booth and Ethan Holt, to tell us about Youth Sports One. Welcome, young man. How are you? Good. We're not playing football today. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Next time, okay? Kimberly, welcome, and thank you so much for joining us. Tell us why this was created. Youth Sports One was created last year in October to give the kids in our area a chance to go around other cities and state, travel to get, be a part of other teams, other tournaments, yeah. and compete on a national level with other kids that does the same thing every day that they do. That is so cool. And Ethan, you were featured in a magazine out of Texas, right? Yes, ma'am. How cool was that? I was happy. I bet you were happy. It gives them this exposure that they wouldn't normally get, right, Kim? That is true. That is true. And last year when we was down in Gulfport, we was noticing that you know, we ha we see a lot of talent from all these different states. Right. And so it's like, you know what? Memphis have the same level of talent that these other states have. Absolutely. And so this year we decided, hey, let's bring some of these teams back down to Memphis to participate in an event in our home city. Absolutely. And it's really cool because last year you guys were able, Kim and Ethan, to take about 17 kids to six different states. Yes. And and they were able to compete in tournaments. Ethan, I'm gonna brag on you a little bit. You won five out of six tournaments in five different states. Oh my gosh. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. amazing. And these are some kids, Kim, that have never even been out of the city of Memphis. That is true. The majority of the kids on our team have never traveled, have never been out of the state of Tennessee. What'd you think about it? I like traveling because it got me many opportunities to meet new friends. Yeah. And get my first championship ring. You got your first championship! <laughs> Look at that. Is that not awesome? You got your first championship ring? Yes, ma'am. That is pretty cool, Ethan. I you mean... You got three while traveling. You got three? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Not many 10-year-olds can say that. It is true. Not many 10-year-olds can say that. That's amazing. It's amazing. And how does it help build self-confidence? Because when the kids get out there and they say, you know what? I'm just as good as this guy. Absolutely. From Texas, from Mississippi, from Louisiana. Yeah. So I'm going to hold my chest up a little higher, hold my right. stick, hold my back up. Right. And I'm going to go out here, perform, and feel good, even though we wasn't successful in one of the tournaments. But the kids still love the opportunity. They still love the experience. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not always about winning. You know, yeah, I tell true. my kids this all the time. I mean, I think sometimes we fall into this, we've created a generation, you know, we give gifts bags to the kids who come to the birthday party. Every right. kid has to have an award. Every kid has to have an honor. But it's not always about that. That is true. It's about playing the game and and, and really building that self-confidence, the relationships that you build? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? What has, what has Youth Sports One given for you, done for you, do you think? Mm, youth Sport, it helped me show my talent. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And I would imagine, Kim, that would help even when they go back in the classroom mm -hmm. with bullying, yes. with all those things, too. Yes, and it is true because we had a lot of kids on our uh, team that wasn't your ideal right. type of child. Right. And building their relationship, like, for example, we have one baby that, you know, yeah. you can tell that a lot of people picked on them a lot. Wow. But now it's like, okay, I got this confidence. Well. I'm not going to take that, and I'm going to go on about my day. Absolutely. So what do people need to do to get involved, to get their kids involved, and, and things like that? Okay, so July the 20th through the 22nd, okay. Youth Sports One is presenting the Best of the Best Championship in Memphis, Tennessee. Awesome. Yeah. So we are bringing in close to 3,000 people into the state, into the city. Okay. And what we, are, we will be utilizing some of these school stadiums in Memphis. Okay, perfect. So to get involved, we are looking for uh, sponsors, yep. our, our donations, only because, you know, it's hot in Memphis in July. Oh, absolutely. And so we would like to yeah. provide hydration stations perfect. at every field. So, you know, all the teams will have access to bottled water, yep. tents, missing 
fines, coolers Absolutely. type of deal. Yeah. So we want the city of Memphis to come out, show their support at the event. Again, July the 20th through the 22nd. Perfect. There it oh. is right there on your screen. Yeah. And you've set up a GoFundMe page so you can take donations and help and volunteers and all that kind of that stuff. That is true. That is true. The GoFundMe awesome. page was set up for the donation uh, to cover, um, like, general field usage fees. Right. Uh, buy water for the team. Perfect. Just to make sure that everything is taken care of. I love ourselves. it. I love it. Well, we sure do appreciate you joining us. It's the annual Pee Wee Tournament, the best of the best tourney, 2018. Join these great athletes like Ethan. Support them. You can do it July 20th through the 22nd. Get all the information right there and go to their GoFundMe page.